About a week later had passed, Junior decided that now was the best time to tell Ruby and John's team about what he really is. They all gathered around in Ruby's room. Alright, is there one here? Yes, we're all here. What's the matter, Aaron? You look, a little, you look very intense all of a sudden. Okay. So... Okay, for starters, have you heard of a creature called... Godzilla? Ruby? Me and her friends were looking at each other. We heard about him. Once. We don't know what he... Well, we actually heard about him. Sounds like a great guy. Even though he destroys cities. And kills hundreds of innocent people. Wait, why are you asking? Well... How would you react if... I told you... That there is a Godzilla here. Wait, seriously? Where? He's standing right here. They all looked at... At Junior immediately. No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding, right? Yang, I'm not kidding. I'm actually Godzilla. Okay, prove it. Prove to us that you are Godzilla. You mean, like, evidence? Like, who is his arch enemy and... Like, how old he is and... All that stuff? Yeah. Alright, simple as that. I have faced bigger challenges. After Junior explained everything, then he revealed everything to Ruby and her team members and her friends. They were all shocked. So, you're actually Godzilla Junior. That Little teenage Godzilla in 1995. You're the same Godzilla who also saved us in 2004. Wow, you're a hero. <laughs> I don't usually go by that a lot. Oh, come on, you are a hero. I'm surprised that you guys are not like freaking out or like screaming your lungs out that there's a kaiju here. Well, we're actually, we actually have a cap on us here. Ruby pointed at Blake. Everyone turned their attention at Blake almost immediately. Okay, I guess that's fair enough. But still, I'm surprised you guys are not too shocked about it. But wait, wait, wait. How do you have a human form? Oh, it's from my... I got it from my mom. Your... Wait, your mom? We didn't know you have a mom. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me it's Mothra. Ew, no, 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 ew. <laughs> if I was Mothra, you would see some resemblance of Mothra. But do you? No, you don't. But, in fact, my mom is actually a female Godzilla. Everyone was shocked. It's about what Godzilla said. Wait, there's a female Godzilla? That's actually a thing? Yeah, that's actually a thing. What's your mom's name? Her name's Gorgirin. Gorgirin? Huh. That's actually not a bad name. Mm -hmm. She actually used to come here a lot. Wait, you mean your mom was a student at one point? Yeah, basically, it's more like the main, one of the main reasons why I came here. Dad and I need to get some answers. What do you mean? Well, 
After my home island got destroyed, my mom said that it was up to me to save them. And to reunite the kaiju world and the human world and reunite them all together. I honestly don't know how am I supposed to do that because humans are afraid of kaiju and most of the monsters hate humans. I don't blame them. Because of our stupid nuclear testing, we basically woke them all up. Godzilla had his eyes widen as he turned it to look at Ruby. You actually agreed to that? Yeah, you guys were just minding your own business until our nuclear testing happened and... Well, that's kind of what woke you up in the first place. Right? No, that was my first ever grandpa. I wouldn't have their eyes widen. He ain't gonna be able to point up about something. Wow, so that's like like so that's like a lot of grand grand. Yep. My grandfather is in fact the first Godzilla that appeared in nineteen fifty four, so yes, Yang, you are correct. That is a lot of grand grand. <clears throat> so can I trust you guys not to tell anyone about this? Os Osman made me promise this, so I need you guys to promise me that you won't tell anyone what I told you. We promise, yeah, we promise. We all promise. Alright, as long as I get your word that you promise. Then, I guess I can coexist with this. By the way, do you still hate mankind about what we did? Now I'm slowly starting to forgive you guys. So, you're actually slowly forgiving mankind about what we did in 1954? Yeah, I'm slowly forgiving you guys. I just have one question, though. Yeah, what is it? Why the heck did you guys drop a bomb on the island in the first place? Seriously. You can't blame something called wars and all that stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. You humans are so confusing sometimes. Well, I don't know if Faunus was around. Faunus like like cat faunus was around back then not quite sure if that was around back then <sighs> so um junior or final wars and you can call me either way or you could just call me goji for short that's what most of my friends call me goji Huh, that's actually a cool nickname. So you said we could rather call you Goji or Junior or Final Wars? Yeah. So, Goji. Yeah? What was- what's it like to be King of the Monsters? Eh, it feels pretty amazing to be honest. Feels good to be like the big bad alpha of the kaiju. Feels really, really good. be king of the monsters. Although, my only real wish was to make my dad proud. Everyone felt sad had for Junior. All I ever wanted was to make my dad proud. I wanted him to see me become the new king of the monsters. Now, I just... I just don't know how to react. I feel like that my dream is now crushed. We're sorry, Junior. Yeah, we're really sorry. 
It's fine. It wasn't your fault. I just wish that you humans could have done something to save my father besides it is laying him out to death. I mainly blame G Force for that. Anyways, should we do something else? Because my eyes are getting a little watery. Yeah, same here. So, oh, what now? I don't know. Hey, wanna go? Um, oh, hang out as usual or do something, you know, not that stupid. Yeah, sure. About a couple of hours later, Peter. Ruby, me, Weiss, and Blake were on their way for training. While Yang, on the other hand, had some free time with Junior. Luckily, they were, were they were alone, so Yang can call him by his real name. So. Goji. Yeah, Yang. Do you have any other family members? Like an uncle or an aunt or something? No. I do have an adopted mom, however. Really? Yeah, she's human. Oh, is that a big. Is that a problem or. No, 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 not really. I just don't trust her. How come? Eh, you can say that she's some reason why my dad went on a rampage in Japan in 1993. Wait, what do you mean by that? That's a story for another time. <laughs> you know, Next weekend, my sister and I are going to go back home to visit for, for a couple of days before we head back to Atlas. And I was wondering if you want to come and meet my parents. Your parents? Why are you asking me like this, more like in a boyfriend type of way? Well, I know it's been a week, but I actually have a crush on you. You have a crush on me. You know what I am, right? Yeah, I know, but you seem like a nice guy who is going through a lot. And I also can't relate to you. So, what do you say? Would you be my boyfriend? Hmm, you know what? Yeah, sure, why not? As long as your parents go, don't go all psycho on me. I oh, don't worry. Not as long as you tell them who you really are. After all, they're not in school, so therefore they won't tell anyone. Plus, my dad and my mom like to live alone. Oh, okay. I guess it makes sense. Alright. Yang, I guess I'll be your boyfriend, and I guess I might have a little interest on going to meet your parents.